Greetings, fellow citizens. This is Citizen Kong, and welcome to another Fez Night. Tonight's Fez Night shall be called Drink Up, It's Fez Night. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up. Uh, anyway, so if you're new to Fez Night, I'll let me just cover the, uh, the little intro on this. That Fez Night is a vlog that I post once a week on Sunday nights. And then I have to go to work the next day. <laughs> On Sunday nights, and um, I welcome the new subscribers, uh, fix myself a drink, and uh, and then babble incoherently. So uh, let's get started. All right. Um, some of you already know that Friday night I uh, I had a little more drinks than I usually do, and so it took me all Saturday to recover, <laughs> and I'm still not feeling a hundred percent. So tonight, instead of a, a, um, a martini, I'm going to have beer, which is a little, a little bit uh, less harsh. Um, today, uh, there's, a Super Bowl get goal, bleh, there's a Super Bowl game going on today, and I'm sure many of you uh, are well aware. Uh, I don't really follow, follow football, but I am aware that it's the, the Giants and the Patriots, and... Uh, I won't be interrupting Fez Night to check the score, so don't worry. <laughs> I did look, though, out of curiosity that uh, the Patriots were beating the Giants last I checked, so it should be winding up very soon. And uh, um, I usually don't take too much of an interest, but there's a little bit of an emotional interest for me this year because, uh, because um, a friend of mine, uh, the Patriots, uh, is, uh, is her team. And uh, and if they get their ass kicked, it might make me feel feel a little bit <laughs> feel good. <laughs> what do the Germans call that? Schadenfreude, you know. Anyway, all right, let's let's pour a beer, okay? Tonight I'm having a Newcastle Brown Ale. It's a wonderful beer. I'm gonna be a little self conscious about my tassel tonight because uh, <laughs> last week last week somebody uh. Actually, Citizen Mekong commented that the tassel was all over the place. Uh, static cling, apparently. It's been raining. It's been wet outside. Okay, here we go. Cracking open the new castle. Oh! <laughs> it's so typical of me. I'll be right back. I forgot my glass. All right. Here we go. Oh boy, we're getting off to a great start tonight, aren't we? <laughs> Better start knocking back that booze. Oh, look it. Newcastle Brown Ale. What a, what a lovely brew. I've got me a big bottle here so I can refill my glass a couple times. You know, there's this whole rule about, you know, you're supposed to pour it down the side of the glass, you know, to minimize the head. But in some cases, some beer connoisseurs sort of encourage a bit of a head. Yeah, insert your head joke anywhere you want. <laughs> insert your head. <laughs> anyway. Mm. That's good. I think I got too much of a head going there. And in case that's not enough, I've also got some of this, this scotch that none of us have ever heard of before. Finlogan Islay single malt scotch whiskey Finlagen and it's a single malt and uh, every now and then I like having a shot of scotch I'm not a, I'm not a bourbon fan got sick on bourbon <laughs> one time too often that and Canadian whiskey so it's scotch and Irish whiskey for me and gin so I'm gonna pour me a shot here just to get things off the ground a little bit sooner not, I'm not going to knock back this whole shot, mind you, okay? But I'm going to have a strong sip. To my new subscribers. Ooh. The thing about scotch, let me get this right, if I can remember correctly, is, um, is that uh, Irish and Scotch whiskeys uh, burning peat is involved, you know, peat from the peat bogs. 
in the scotch process, the, the uh, whiskey is exposed to the smoke. So the, uh, the, uh, the smoke from the peat is imparted into it. And this is a very smoky, I mean, it tastes like smoke. Whereas Irish whiskey is in a, uh, a closed vat and the, uh, the burning peat, the smoke is not exposed to the whiskey. So I think, if I remember correctly, I think that's the difference between Scotch and uh, Irish whiskey. One of the many differences. And then again, there's your American whiskeys like Jack Daniels and your Canadian whiskeys like Canadian Club or, uh, or Seagram 7. Which I don't know. I don't think the Americans use peat. <laughs> so, all right. For those of you that care. All right, let's get into welcoming the new subscribers. I believe I left off last week with Saga Forest and uh, of Doom Productions. Excuse me. Welcome of Doom Productions. Now I watched one of these guys videos and it's apparently a group. And it says city in the basement, hometown hell. Uh, it says all is forgiven. Yippee. I no longer feel like Harrison Ford in The Fugitive. Now please subscribe to Tom Ken AD. He really is a great man. Tom Ken AD. I don't know if he is a great man. We'll have to see. There's all these Toms running around. It's not Tom Skearson, is it? Don't like that guy. <laughs> um, but I watched one of their videos and it's pretty cool. It's these guys sitting around a table and they're in hell. <laughs> So I'll have to go back and watch uh, more. Um, all right. And uh, so let me see. Let me mark this page here. <laughs> oh, you entertained yet? Hey, don't worry. It'll get better. <laughs> 